This is going to be an unboxing video of a USB floppy drive, but I skipped ahead about a minute into the video because it was really hard to cut through that plastic tape. You can buy the USB floppy drives for less than $10, including shipping and handling. We get to see what it looks like on the inside of the box. It has the anti-static bag, a simple manual with it, but you won't even need that manual. It's just plug and play. We can tell the cable is connected right to the USB floppy drive itself instead of having a separate USB cable. That's okay considering how inexpensive these products are. Overall, it's pretty durable, pretty rugged piece of hardware for your computer. It even has a small LED that does light up when the floppy drive is active. It has four rubber pads to help hold it in place. Overall, it's a pretty cool product for $10. I bought it out of curiosity to see if it would work with Windows 10, and it does. Where my mouse cursor is, you will see it show up on the taskbar. It even has the floppy drive icon for it. You can simply click it. And there we see what was on the floppy drive or what is on the floppy drive. And I can drop and drag stuff over easy enough. They're really small image files, but that's really about all there is to it. You just simply plug it into your USB port. On the Macintosh, it's basically the same thing. You simply plug it into a USB port. On the Apple computer, it shows a hard drive or a little drive similar to what a SD card would look like. It doesn't have the little floppy icon for it. It's not a big deal, but it's the same exact thing as you've seen on Windows. Here's the little image files, and you can drop and drag it, you know, to the desktop or any folder you want on an Apple computer. A lot of people purchase these USB floppy drives because they might need to get an Excel spreadsheet or a Microsoft Word document off an old Windows 95 or Windows 98 computer that doesn't have a USB port. And none of the newer motherboards have a floppy drive port either. So this is really their only option. I purchased this device because I plan on rebuilding one of my old Pentium 3 computers. And I want to transfer the data using a floppy drive to my Windows 10 system. I can take the hot swappable IDE drive out of my old retro computer and pop it in this external enclosure you see. The ones on top are USB 2 connection into the computer, but they are an IDE interface to the actual hard drive. I could exchange data between the two computers using that method. This method would allow me to exchange files and folders with 125 megabytes or even 25 gigabytes worth of data. If you look at the two computer systems, you can see some similarities and obviously some differences. Computer technology has changed a lot over the last 20 years. This product supports the 720K floppy disk and the 1.44 megabyte floppy disk, but it does not support the 2.88 megabyte floppy disk. I imagine all the USB floppy drives for under $10 would be the same way. I want to end this video by stating I am happy with my purchase. Even though I really didn't need this particular product, I think it will be useful to have once I get my retro computer built. I want to say if I judge it on the build quality, the packaging, and the pricing, I have to give it two thumbs up. It's a pretty decent product for the price, and if you need to get old data off of a computer from 1996 or 1994, this might be your best method.